morning when the paper landed in your yard. Do you know their names? Can you play their games without losing track and coming down a bit too hard? And now, to lead us in the national anthem, a recent Juno Award winner from Guelph, Ontario. Mesdames et messieurs, veuillez accueillir Andrea Lindsay.
I say the sky's the limit. It's one step from Parliament Hill. Enjoy the feeling in the air. Merci tout le monde d'avoir été là. Thank you everybody. Happy Canada Day. Bonne fête du Canada. Je vous souhaite à tous une merveilleuse journée de célébration. Happy Canada Day. Thanks for joining us. Enjoy your day. and the snowbirds high above Parliament Hill. They'll take another run across, usually coming in from behind the Peace Tower this time, just over the Ottawa River, and do their special burst right over the hill. They're the only precision team in the world that does the maneuver we just saw, the nine-plane formation. But as you say, Peter, they're coming back. They're going to regroup and do what we uh, love to see every Canada Day, the maple burst. All this happening while the artists uh, stand, stand by on stage because they get their opportunity to meet the Queen now after a show that ran for about an hour and 20 minutes. And uh, well, let's just say it was very. There was a lot of different talent there on uh, on stage, uh, and just showing you the wonders of the human voice and the different ways it can be used. It's interesting. It's striking. Talk about how Canada has changed in the years that Queen Elizabeth has been the queen, and they wanted to show Canada all of the geography, all of the forms of music, and representing the new face of Canada. We certainly saw and heard that on stage. It's funny, eh, how they've become such an accepted part of Canadiana. Surely, we all know they've had a few problems in the last couple of years. But when you consider how they started that band, and there was such a fuss about their name, and oh my gosh, they were this bad, a remember, band in Toronto? In Toronto. Yes. <laughs> and now it's part of the Canada Day celebration. Yeah, it's a bit of Canadiana now. Members of Ash Sal there, six members in that, all family members singing terrifically talented, amazing hair. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I'll say. <laughs> I want to see the Queen right now. I hope we get back to the shot because, uh, you know, she just uh, breezed by Arjo there. That, uh, there was one. Uh, act that I was wondering exactly how it was going over with the Queen, because those first couple of acts were pretty loud, kind of raunchy almost, and it was, uh, it set a kind of awkward tone initially, I thought, you know, even the crowd wasn't quite sure how to Not react quite at into all. It and, uh, you're quite looking there as she shakes the hand of Johnny Reed, and that yeah. was a terrific moment. He was a turning point, actually, I thought, in the show, when Johnny Reed was on with the Campbell brothers on the bagpipes. Yeah. And she's a woman who starts her day with a bagpipe serenade, yeah. so she probably enjoyed that a great deal. The, the Prime Campbell Minister brothers. talking to Johnny Reid now. You know, he's got a Scottish descent. Why Sound a little, you world? know, he, he'd hate to hear this, but I mean, the, you, you kind of hear Rod Stewart in the, <laughs> the, the distance voice, there, the you know, when you listen to it. Ron was telling me this the Queen. He wasn't sure. He thought he might curtsy. He was going to be so nervous because he's going to be meeting her subsequently uh, later this weekend. She'll be at the Queen's Plate. They're running the Queen's Plate in Toronto and he hosts that as always. So we know her love, her fabled love of horses. And she actually has a connection because she's a famous breeder of thoroughbred racing horses, of course. And she has a connection to this year's field. She'll be there and he'll be there as well. I should tell you, this is Pierre Boileau, who is the artistic director, who is introducing the Queen to all of those involved. There's a Joanie Rochette, of course, who carried the Canadian flag. 
flag in from the closing ceremonies in Vancouver and won so many hearts around the world for her unbelievable courage, the death of her mother prior to her skate in the women's figure skating. And she was able to uh, concentrate, to focus, to skate in her mother's memory and win the bronze medal. Remarkable achievement. And there, you were enjoying the classical piano as well. Yeah, Lecheski there, shaking the hand of the Prime Minister yeah. shortly. He's, he's terrific. Old. I don't know whether you remember, but Joe Sussinger did right. a, a wonderful documentary feature on him last year. I've seen him a couple of times in Calgary and the different things that I've done out there, and he's... He's quite wonderful, he and has. you know, we're going to be hearing about him for many years so, to come. An unbelievable itinerary for the summer. He's going to be performing around the world, but he played Goldberg Variations. For Canadian fans of classical music, the Glenn Gould version of Goldberg Variations is the standard. And he did that intentionally for the Queen, but also to acknowledge Canadian classical music in part of the Goldberg Variations, and he played so beautifully. of the official party will meet a number of dignitaries who are gathered in the front stage area before heading out past the crowd. And uh, it's expected she may do a bit of a walkabout there as well. Officials who uh, work on Parliament Hill, including Black Rod, and there's General Walter Natinchuk, the uh, Chief of the Defence Staff. The Queen's standard flying high atop Parliament Hill. Whenever the Queen is on the Parliament Hill grounds, the Canadian flag is lowered and the Queen's standard is raised. There's General Natinchuk. Great to see Christopher Plummer on stage here today. He's on stage in Stratford. Yes, uh, in the Tempest. Rave reviews for him. Yeah, as always for him, he is quite something. A special day in Stratford. He was one of those names. Uh, in Stratford, has a thing every year where they place a star in the sidewalk, kind of, you know, like the Hall of Fame sidewalks. And uh, his name was, uh, uh, he was included this year. Well, let's just pause right there. Yeah, yeah. As were you. I was not playing for this, honestly. No, it no, 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 but both Chris of you were, and was. both of you are here instead. Yeah. So your son accepted so we in did your special, honor today. Yes, uh, we did special messages from here uh, for the great city of Stratford and Mayor Dan Matheson, who was kind enough to organize all that. Uh, and my wife, Cynthia Dale, received a star as well. Fair. And John Hirsch, the late former director of the Stratford Festival.
Hart is still singing uh, Shake the Hand, Share in the Land, old Guess Who song from the 60s. Queen and Prince Philip, having uh, talked to a number of the official dignitaries, seem to be staying close to the red carpet as they head up towards the Centennial Flame area she visited in 1967, the year it was lit by the former Prime Minister Lester Pearson. People who are here, Peter, for most of them, she's the only queen they've ever known, the only monarch they've ever known, 58 years on the throne, and there's such a comfort factor for Canadians to see her among them, and, and she acknowledged that in her remarks, saying that she has witnessed growth of this country, its maturation, she talked about the character and values, how it's a carry on an example to the world. Well, you know, think of it, when she became queen, Louis Salaron was the prime minister here, Winston Churchill was the prime minister in Britain. She's seen 11 prime ministers in Canada, 12 now in Britain, with David Cameron spans such an incredible period of time in both our countries. And concludes another visit to Parliament Hill on another Canada Day, overall her 22nd visit to this country since she became queen. Still a bit of traveling to do on this visit out to Winnipeg. Yes, we're very Day at the Canadian Museum of Human Rights. She's going to be laying the cornerstone and then returning to Toronto on the weekend, as I mentioned, for a special dinner, but also for the Queen's Play, which will be for her a real treat. She's attended the Kentucky Derby. She's always at Ascot, of course, and she'll be again at the Queen's Play. She's already attended that previously. And off goes the motorcade. Size of the crowd down there on, on Wellington Street in Ottawa. I mean, the estimated total is somewhere around 70,000 overall. A lot of them are lined along Wellington Street. They still are coming in the Landau, the horse strong Landau. And they're seeing her depart now in the uh, Royal Motorcade limousines heading back to Government House. Look at that. You don't see that often in Ottawa. Not that kind of a crowd. Sometimes on Remembrance Day, on especially special Remembrance Day years. But a huge crowd enjoying great weather. We were worried yesterday, so was all of Ottawa. It was an ugly day here. It felt like November. But it's uh, turned quite beautiful here today. And uh, the crowds are out, and they're enjoying every minute of it. Prime Minister, uh, a few more ways before he gets into uh, it looks like he's a moving van. <laughs> <laughs> it does. It's not very distinguished vehicle, no, is it? No, it's the but he spoke, special SUV. You're right. The theme of today for Canada Day is our year to shine, and certainly in his remarks he acknowledged that uh, the Olympics to begin for Canada with the world and Canada's great Olympic success hosting the G8 and G20, significant reforms on maternal health care and uh, the banks, the beacon of the world for financial security. We had that message as well and leading up to today, the 143rd birthday and the Queen in attendance. And she too mentioned in her remarks the Olympic success and the gold medal goal. She got a big crowd for that hockey reference. Big, she big sure did. Well, let's find applause. out what they're saying in the crowd about all this. Uh, Rashmi Nair is with us. You saw her interviewing the Prime Minister at the top of our show. And we'll go back down to her. She's at uh, crowd level. Get a sense of uh, what people thought down there. Rashmi? Well, Peter, this fence, it was pretty crowded just a couple of moments ago. People have cleared out. But when the Queen was walking by, it was almost like an Olympic sport to get a picture. So I'm here with Joni. She was climbing over this fence trying to get a picture of the Queen. How are you feeling after seeing her? Oh, I'm really excited. I've got butterflies in my stomach. I hear singing in my head. <laughs> and you're holding up this painting here that you actually painted for the Queen. Yeah, I wanted to give it to her, but it could not get close enough. And being short doesn't help. <laughs> but you have some significance with the Queen. Tell us about your, your family's history with the royal family. Yes, um, 
My great great grandpa, Chief Moses Rat from Nimi Pacific, Saskatchewan, where I'm originally from. Uh, the Queen went there, the, the, Queen the Queen Mother, and gave the chiefs medals. Yes. And that medal is still in your family? Yes, and it's still in the family. Okay. And so you're from northern Saskatchewan, but now you live in Ottawa? Yes. My husband serves in the Air Force as Captain Barnett. Fantastic. Yes. And how was today? Oh, it was absolutely excellent. And I'm just really excited, really, really happy that we got to see another year of Canada's birthday. Fantastic. Thank you very much, Joni. Thank That's you. just one excited Canadian here, Peter, to actually see the Queen walk past, even though they couldn't give them their gifts or actually get a very close picture. It was still a memorable moment. I'll send it back to you and Heather. All right, Rashmi, thanks very much. If you get a chance, grab a couple more because we're, uh, we're going to stay on for a couple of minutes as we watch the two motorcades. The, uh, the one at the top of your picture there is the Royal Motorcade with the Queen on board and the Prime Minister and Maureen Harper and their kids heading back in the second one. As you see, the uh, Queen's flag, the Queen's standard, has been replaced by the Canadian flag now that she's left Parliament Hill. And look at that. What a gorgeous day. Beautiful blue sky and uh, a great crowd. Let's take a, some more glimpses of that crowd uh, today because the, uh, around the Centennial Flame and around Parliament Hill, it's one of those special days where the people come, not only from the city of Ottawa, but for the many thousands of tourists who flock here every year uh, to watch everything from the musical ride in the morning to changing the guard. Take a trip along the canal, and today they're selling like hotcakes, uh, anything red and anything with uh, the Canadian flag on it. They, you saw them this morning, uh, Heather. They were lined up. To, the, the vendors about 6:30 this morning, uh, right. selling hats and ties and sunglasses with Canadian flags on them. The crowd's starting to move. It'll pack in again here later tonight. It's usually actually the nighttime event that gets the really big crowds because it's quite the party atmosphere and then of course the, the uh, fireworks um, after 10 o'clock in uh, in the nation's capital and it's uh, it's quite a show as it is in many different places across the country all across the country communities gathering to celebrate the 143rd birthday but it was special for the people here you know speaking to them earlier today they definitely wanted to be here for the queen as they said to me several times, people to whom I was speaking, you never know if this might be her last visit, 84. They always say that, but you know, she's already making plans for her Diamond Jubilee. She sat for a portrait earlier today for 2012. Plans to return to mark her 60th year on the throne. Well, whenever anybody asks me that question, <laughs> I say her mother lived to 103. <laughs> You're absolutely right. Get used to it. And you know, over <laughs> our shoulder is the statue of Queen Victoria. That's she right. served longer than Queen Elizabeth II, mm -hmm. and she has been overlooking all of the celebrations today, the great, great, great grandmother of uh, <laughs> Queen Elizabeth. Let's go back into the crowd. Rush me near. Rush me. Peter, we want to introduce you to a family who came all the way to Ottawa from Gander, Newfoundland. This is Mike and Nancy and Isaac and Aaron Wolfrey. So tell us uh, what brought you here on Canada Day, Mike. Well, we had to come down here to see Canada Day for the first time. We, we see it all the time in Gander, but we were in the nation's capital, so we had to make it here for this. It's a great time. And what was it like for, to have the Queen here for your first Canada Day in Parliament Hill? It was a pretty good experience. We didn't really get to see her up close, but we got to see her on the big screen, so that was neat. Keeping the boys, giving the boys a little bit of our heritage and to be proud to be Canadian. Was what did you both think about this? Isaac? I saw the Queen up close. And what was your favorite part here today? Oh, the first song. The size? Mm -hmm. Yeah, the size of it all. <laughs> That's fantastic. And Erin, you're, you're learning French. You're in French immersion. So can you say Happy Canada Day in French, French to the entire country? Bon fête de Canada. Fantastic. Thank you all very much. Thank you. Have a safe trip back to Gander. Do. All right, Peter, I'll send it back to you. All right, Rashmi, that's great. And listen, Rashmi, don't go away because poor Rashmi, she gets tied down the studio all the time working with Evan Solomon and Mark Kelly every night on, on their programs on the CBC News Network. So you look pretty excited to get out and around a little bit too today. I am having a wonderful day, Peter. Thank you. <laughs> okay, well, it's been great of you to, uh, to join us on our coverage team for Canada Day. 2010. Heather, um, as we've mentioned a number of times, there, there is lots more to come for uh, the Queen 
the rest of the tour, Winnipeg, and uh, and the Toronto. And now Queens Plate, you're like you're into the horse thing. I I am. Into are you horse going? Thing. You know, are you going to the Queens Plate? Well, no, because I'm working for you. <laughs> <laughs> I was asked to do the Queen's Plate this year, and I can't because I'm, I'm working well, over the weekend, now, have unfortunately. You been? Have you ever been yes, to the Queen's Yes, years Plate? and years ago, and it's spectacular. Why? Well, because it's the oldest horse race in North America. You have all the sense of tradition. I love the tradition, of course. I would love to be there to watch her because, as I said, she has... Uh, such a love of racing, she really gets excited about that. You see her when you when she watches at Ascot, and so it would be a terrific treat to see yeah, the Queen. Yeah, and there. she is very uh, attached to horses as well. And yes. there was a Canadian horse given by the RCMP That's called right. Burmese that was her horse for years and years and years until they had to retire. And she's never ridden a horse in the special. It's not the changing of the guard. The, the special trooping, set, the color. trooping the colors. She's never ridden again since Burmese was retired. In 1986, you're absolutely right, she's been in a carriage, an open carriage ever since. That's the second celebration of the Queen's birthday. It's held every year in June, and she used to ride herself side saddle on Burmese right through until the retirement, as you say. But in 2009, the RCMP which she keeps, of course, over at the Royal Mews, but she doesn't ride it in public anymore. But she rides, apparently, every weekend still. She is just, uh, obviously, we know horses, dogs, right. all things. Animal. Okay, you got to wrap it up. Give me your moment from today. You know, I think it was... To me, it was the opening. It was marie Jose Laure as she sang God Save the Queen. Mm -hmm. Beautiful, beautiful uh, soprano with a tremendous career in opera, and it just set such a dignified tone to the day. Beautiful. It did. It, did. it was a wonderful uh, start. I still wonder about a couple of moments there after that. <laughs> it seemed a little rocky, but they got going, and it was uh, it was a good show. It Heather, was. as always. Oh, thanks, Peter. It's been great. Happy Canada Day. And you, too. A couple of reminders about things to come on the uh, CBC networks tonight. The National, of course, at uh, 9 o'clock Eastern on the CBC News Network, 10 o'clock on the CBC Network, 1030 in Newfoundland. We will, of course, take uh, a look back at all the events on this day, Canada Day, not just here in Ottawa, but right across the country, because we know, as you do, that in small towns and large, there are great Canada Day celebrations taking place. I hope you've been at some of them. And sometimes they may be just in your backyard. Wherever you are, enjoy it. 143 years old today. We've had fun bringing you the program. You have fun with the rest of the day. Goodbye from Ottawa.